Welcome back to uh, finally another episode <laughs> of the CGR Gaming Podcast uh, channel. It's been a while. Uh, we yeah, really me have no Roscoe, excuse. Me and Roscoe were prisoners of war and held hostage by North Koreans. <laughs> POW for a while. Yeah, it's been like, what, five weeks? Yes. Yeah, so I don't know. Guys, you know, you can't really upload YouTube videos when you're being held hostage and tortured. So It is hard <laughs> when you're being waterboarded. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm trying to pull up this is what's right. This is anyway, so stupid. Maybe we should like actually get onto the video now. Yeah, today we're gonna be doing the first three Falcon Winter Soldier episodes, so Yeah, when episode Buckle five, five is gonna be out by the time we by the time we upload this. By the time this is uploaded, episode five will already be out. So. Yes, sir. Yep. Anyway, who cares? Um for people who this is for, I guess for people who don't have Disney Plus and d d don't get the pirated version. Okay. So, also, also, also. Spoiler <laughs> warning if you haven't watched it. Yes. Spoiler, yes. Spoiler warning. Be some spoilers here. I mean, I feel like if you actually read the title and have some common sense, you would understand that in a Falcon Winter Soldier one through three review, that maybe we would be doing some spoilers. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, if you if you didn't figure that out by now, then there's there you go. There's your spoiler. Yeah. There's your spoiler alert. And you know, sometimes people like to be spoiled, you know? Some people <laughs> are weird like that. <laughs> Shut up and get on the video. <laughs> okay, let, let's get into the video. Everyone's gonna hate uh, us because we have a minute and 45 second intro, but okay. No one cares. <laughs> it's gonna be like a four hour long video, to be honest. Well, yeah. I mean, Chase is gonna make it like four hours because he has to like talk about every single detail of every single scene, but it's okay. Yeah, I have to point out what they're eating and everything. Exactly, like <laughs> no one cares what they're eating. From, uh, Captain Crunch. Yeah, Captain look Crunch. At, look at look Winter at Soldier here. eating some Captain Crunch. All right. Anyway, and if you look cool. at the way it's made, you can tell it's from the forties. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay. We're we're at two minutes and fifteen seconds, so let's just start the video. <laughs> let's break the record. Yeah. Okay. No. No. Don't do that. Okay. We're gonna get so well, many dislikes on this video. Holy crap. Okay. Hey, well, hey, hey. our first episode uh, for Falcon Winter Soldier is called New World Order. Uh, we open up uh, on Sam uh, with Captain I America's know. shield. Yeah. He he had he has Captain America's shield and he puts it into his like little backpack or whatever. Pouch, Captain Gale. Yeah, and then we get a title card. Bam. Um, yeah, what a good opening scene, man. <laughs> White screen plane. Boom. And then yeah, and then we we get a plane and then he jumps off the plane and we get like an action scene. Uh, this scene is when I really realized this whole show is gonna be like a big Marvel movie, unlike like Wandavision. Yeah, because you know how like WandaVision had like no action scenes really, so and then like really the that threw out of the void. Still had some good, yeah. good amount of them. Yeah, but like this show started off with a huge banger, like immediately. Well, I mean, yeah, that's kind of what this show's about, though. WandaVision yeah, isn't really about like action, but no, that's true. WandaVision was a lot different from this show. Um, but I think this scene's really cool. I wasn't really ever a big fan of falcon or winter soldier but i liked winter soldier yeah. but i didn't like falcon i liked them both i like this opening scene so i mean yeah. i think yeah. he's really cool once we get into the course of the show the they're actually pretty funny so it gets better yeah um yeah, i thought this show was gonna be kind of lame until we until i actually started watching it yeah and then uh we open up and then after the fight scene we go to tunisia right like Tunisia. I don't remember exactly, what happened but it was in the some place? random place. It, it is Tunisia, but I'm just is that how you say that? Tunisia. No yeah. There's the USC guy in the fight scene. You skipped that from the Winter Soldier. Oh, well, I don't really care. No, oh, I like the fight scene a lot. <laughs> um, but then Sam talks about how like he kind of foreshadows how like whenever the military messes with his stuff, it's always glitchy. Mm -hmm. And like they they reveal like I think it was episode three or two that they were hacking his drone or whatever. And like tracking him and stuff. Yeah, and tracking him. 
and whatnot. Um, and then we learn about the Flag Smashers through his like buddy. Yeah, his, yeah, yeah, his random buddy. First of all, Flag Smashers is the worst name of all time, and they even mention it in the in the show. Yeah, they make a joke of it. He makes a joke of it when they're talking about the uh, group. Mm-hmm. But it is a really but, dumb name. Yeah, I feel like they could have at least like tried up with a good name. Exactly. But I mean, like, it's, it's definitely <laughs> what would happen in real life. Like, no one in real life is coming up with a cool name. After the Tunisia scene, we go to the um, yeah, to uh, Capitol in Washington, and he's um, giving the shield to the museum. Um, it belongs in a museum. So. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I I guess I understand why he did it, but at the same time, it's kind of like stupid. Kind of but I, yeah, it's definitely cringe, bro. Even Bucky but, always points out how stupid it was. <laughs> Yeah, if Bucky calls you out, dude, you know you messed up. Yeah, that's true. Dude, dude's literally like a hundred years old. Yeah, or more. Maybe um, more. but we we get Rhodey. Um, the scene with Rhodey. Mm-hmm. Um, Isn't where they're the, walking through the movie? memorial. Yeah, War Machine. Okay. They're walking through the Captain America Memorial or Museum, whatever you want to call it. Um, Didn't Falcon almost kill him though? <laughs> Yeah. So they're just sure. like cool. Yeah. Vision did. Vision almost. Well, no. Well, I mean, well, technically, Vision but, was aiming at Falcon and then hit him. So. Yeah, but I mean, you also got to think these guys. I mean, after I mean, personally, I don't like Civil War, but yeah. during Infinity War and Endgame, I guess they kind of like made up or something. I don't know. That's what I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah, the just like you can't have an argument. You can't have an argument in the middle of like the doom of the of the, of the world. So, I mean. Civil War is lame. Disagree. We don't want to get into that right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now we cut to Bucky when he was Winter Soldier, killing a bunch of people, and then he I killed that innocent. Know. Yeah, I like all of Bucky's scene. I feel like his story is a little more. It's a little bit better because you don't because his, his his story is a little like not it's not as like bold and out there as the Falcon. Like he, you still don't know the majority of his backstory. All you knew know is that he was just like a. Yeah, um, he's mysterious. Hydra bounty hunter kind of guy. So. Yeah. And we get the whole therapy scene uh, that Gunner was saying. It's it's a really good scene. Pretty funny scene. Funny scene, but good. I liked it. I thought it was a very nice scene. And then we see him meet up with like the guy that he's made friends with. What's his name? Nakajima? But I don't know what his name is. Oh, uh, the uh, Asian dude at the bar. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. what his name was. But I'm pr- they I'm, I'm, knew but each I know, other from I know the he war killed something. his son. No, 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 no. It's because Bucky has to amend... Make him amends, tell the people Make him amends. Because he killed his son. Yeah, and the yeah. guy doesn't know. Yeah, the guy doesn't know. So I kind of feel bad for Bucky there. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's some very horrible news you gotta break to like one of your best friends. Hey, yeah, bro. Like, a long time ago, imagine. I had mind control that I could have possibly murdered your son. <laughs> Dude, imagine having witness. to say that. Yeah, that would have been really yeah, so, so, You know, I used to be mind controlled by this really, really evil organization called Hydra, and I might have shot your son. When he w- had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh, we go to the scene with the boat, uh, with Sam. Um, again, I didn't. I don't really care yeah, about any of these scenes. Yeah, I. I'm Still sorry, but I just. Scenes. Yeah, I just really don't have a connection quite yet to really care. Um, about the boat. Yeah, but um, this next scene where Bucky's on the date with the lady from the bar. Um, I. I like this scene because I like Bucky. I think it's a better. He's a, just a better, better character. Yeah, I think Isn't this when he realizes that character. he actually did. Uh, um, or what, like, well, even if the person doesn't look old, why would you date someone who's like ninety years old? I mean, she doesn't know that he's. Yes, yeah, she you know, no, no, she he, mentions he, it. He, like, he how said, old are you? Like ninety? That's what she says. He well, yeah, it. but. But, but mean, she like, doesn't really know. When you're frozen in time. Technically speaking, he could possibly be like twenty or thirty right now, and like how it how he looks. No, he looks twenty yeah. or thirty, but he's actually like ninety. Like one hundred ninety, yeah. No, he's one hundred sure ninety, that... Roscoe, because he was he was like what twenty in World War Two. I'm pretty sure he's a hundred and something. Yeah, yeah he's like a hundred something. I think he's like a hundred and one or a hundred exactly. Because because he was like in his twenties in World War Two. Yeah, he was in the forties, nineteen thirties and forties. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
So yeah, yeah. So he's not like super old, but he's like I mean, hundred's pretty old, but dude, that's really old. <laughs> yeah, he's not as old as Roscoe was. He's, he's stunning for a hundred year old. Well, yeah, because he was frozen in ice, or, or no, he wasn't frozen. In ice. <laughs> I know, I'm just making a stupid joke. Wait, how did Bucky not age? Because he wasn't frozen in ice. He was doing all that hydration. I think it. I think it had something to do with. Wasn't oh, wasn't super he like things. um. Yeah, it was Super Soldier Serum, and he they put them in, like, those tanks, right? Like no, but we can't, people. but that's not, it's I not only it's... Super Soldier Serum, though, because remember we see that, like, uh, Super Soldier named Isaiah, who, like, aged? Well, I know, but, like, he, like, they, it was something with the Winter Soldier program where they had, where no. they had him where he couldn't age, so. Yeah, in Civil War, they had them in, like, those tanks, right? Where they yeah. just kind of were arrest, oh, yeah. like, they yeah. were arrest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah, okay, that, that makes that's more sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, our, our next scene that we cut to, we, we cut to Sam and his family, but I think we can just skip this whole part because no one cares. Anything. Yeah. Uh, the main scene is the Flag Smasher scene where the dude's investigating, like the, the buddy cop for Sam. Yeah. Is and investigating. He gets and then he yeah, gets and then absolutely he gets, just destroyed, yeah. Yeah, he gets destroyed by the Flag Smashers. Um, and then another oh, scene, oh, and we get another Sam, scene with Sam. They're trying to get alone for the boat. Yeah, again, don't really care about it. Um, but we actually get to see, like, how do the Avengers get paid? Like, what's their salary and stuff? Like, do how I'm do so they get money? About that. Do they get paid? <laughs> yeah, I was confused. I, I'm still a little confused because I didn't pay attention. But and then at uh, the end of the movie, I know, at the end of the show, show. episode, it cut. It's like he's on Facetime with the buddy cop, explaining about like showing him the body cam footage. Oh, how he got dropped. So yeah, like um, they they were like, you don't think they're, and then they didn't say anything because then they saw the big reveal of the episode. Uh, soldiers, the flag smashers are super soldiers. Whoa. No, yeah, it was they, the, we see Captain the America. new Captain America. New Captain yeah, America. Bro, what, it's like soldier America, something. In the comics, and the comics is called soldier something. Like there's a, it's like a soldier than a number. Is John number. Yeah, and he goes crazy, but we'll talk about that later. Um, I mean, he you can he tell in the. In the coming episodes, you can see him kind of going crazy. Oh, yeah, he snaps, bro. <laughs> he snaps. He's done. Um, yeah, especially in like episode that, four. He gives me a lot of Homelander vibes from the boys. Yeah. I'm not say that. Like, he's just, like, his face, I want to punch it. Yeah. He, but he has the, a very like, punchable face, is what you're saying. Yeah, and his, but it's, like, it's good acting because it makes me hate him. As a character. Yeah, as the character. Like, yeah, I'm not going to send death threats to make him IRL. Hate him. But, yeah. But, like, I hate his character. But I think it's I think it was a good casting decision. So Yeah, because yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah. the point of having that character was to make people hate him. Oh, for sure. Like, so, when he yeah. did that wink to the camera, that was just a big F you. Yeah, that's kind <laughs> of, the, yes, that's kind of the, the point of it. So, I feel like the actor did a good job. Season 1, episode 2. Oh, yeah. Now we're on season one, episode two, The Stars Fangled Man. Uh, we open up with bootleg Captain America. That's um, the locker of the bootleg captain. Yeah, bro. I, I, I in like a high school him. locker or something. Yeah, where he where he went to high school and played football, I'm pretty sure. And I can't tell if that's his like girlfriend or something. but yeah. I think it is his girlfriend. I'm pretty sure. It is his girlfriend. Yeah, it is because they say I love you, right, to each other. Yeah, I don't know. definitely is his girlfriend. But why don't they mention her after that? After that episode. I don't know. Maybe no she's just like, like. Yeah, no one cares about him, bro. The only thing I really care about him is Battlestar. His like guy. His, his I feel bad for partner. him. I like his side partner. I like because his side partner started to like like if you really saw realized him, what was going on. Yeah, like he like he was looking at him like, what are you talking about, bro? Like he was just like. He wanted nothing to do with it, really. Like, when it came into later episodes, and then he got killed. Yeah, and then we have the, um, where he goes out into the field. The football and, field. Yeah, and he's interviewed by GMA. Um, Good morning, America. Good morning, America. And we see Bucky watching it, like, on just the floor. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't have like anything to watch. He's just like, And then wow, he's like, why did you get the shield? Yeah, and then they, and then they meet up. Um, and then they talk about the big three, um, and wizards. they start kind of, yeah, the uh, wizards, aliens, and robots, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then they were like, Doctor Strange is a wizard, and they're like, no, he's not, he's a sorcerer. A sorcerer's a wizard <laughs> without the hat. <laughs> sorcerers yeah. are wizards without the hats. Yeah. So true. That was funny. 
I mean, Doctor Strange is actually probably one of the best characters. So I can't wait for his spin off the ha- the um, his movie to happen. What's his? That's movie gonna be a good movie. movie. Oh yeah, it's not. It's not the show. It's gonna be a movie. Bet. It's gonna be a movie. What's the movie that's coming out for Doctor Strange? What's it gonna be called? Multiverse of Madness or something along those lines. Okay. I remember the first Doctor Strange movie was really good, so. I really liked it. They said watching that movie in 3D was so trippy, I never got myself in 3D. Oh, I wouldn't want to. I'd probably barf out my liver. Dude, whenever I watch stuff in 3D, I always take off the the goggles, because it's like, hurts my eyes. The Mm. 3D goggles are very uncomfortable sitting in your face. Yes, especially when you have them on for like a couple hours. It's bad. I don't like it. Yikes. Um... Um, well, back on to Falcon Winter Soldier. Uh, they go to Munich um, to find the Flag Smashers. Um, and Bucky tells Sam, like, you can't call me Buck. Only Cap could call me that. Man. Yeah. And then they jump out of the helicopter and he's like... He, he's like yeah, he lands. And Bucky's like, and Bucky's like uh, let, me, let me jump. You want a parachute? No. It's kind of like the scene where Cap jumps off yeah, where without, Cap the jumps out of the plane without the parachute. Yeah, where Cap jumps the plane without the parachute. He yeah. lands on his back. You can just Except he lands on his he back. He lands on his shield. Captain America lands on his shield. Yeah, but... I was but... gonna try to make it... I wish, I wish just, I could like, have done, like, a Deadpool reference. It's really funny. Superhero landing. Oh, that really hurts. He's me. gonna do a superhero landing. Watch it. <laughs> He's gonna superhero do, like, the Hulk landing. <laughs> landing. No, we're talking about... Have you seen the Deadpool thing? Deadpool 2 or Deadpool? Thing? Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, yeah, I know what the superhero landing is. That really hurts to me. It really hurts the knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Deadpool, anyway, the Deadpool movies were really funny, but yeah. yeah, um, this whole scene uh turns into a fight scene, like the like a it's sort of like a not it's not really a chase scene, but it's on the road, and they're yeah, on top like of they're, the top they're, of yeah, they're on the top thing. of the like pickup trucks. What are they? I don't no, know they're what like, they. They're like eighteen wheelers. wheelers. They're like eighteen wheelers. wheelers. Yeah, wheelers. And they're yeah, fighting they're on top of them. Mm-hmm. And then Captain America comes and, and gets his ass. No, just, yeah, just they, also also remember the part where they were uh um Winter Soldier uh, Bucky got his butt whooped by that redhead and then um Falcon comes in and says that little girl's kicking your ass, huh? Yeah, that's that, funny. I mean, it's a good fight scene. Each episode has a pretty good fight scene in it. Pretty solid. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I feel like um there was so far there's only been like one episode that I've like really really liked. I like how I mean, I like the all, but there's only one that I've like really, really liked. I think every episode has been had its moments and it was I, really good. I think the first episode is my least favorite just because it's laying down the groundwork. Well, it's introduction. But, yeah. You know, it's just doing its thing. But yeah, um they that. they are reluctant reluctant to get into the uh Jeep. Flag smashers, Jeep the Jeep the, oh, Captain thing. America, yeah. The cap. And then once they once they get into it, they pretty much get out immediately because the partner's name is Battlestar. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky just leaves. He's, He's like, like yeah, nope. I'm out. And then um, the new Captain America pretty much disses uh, Falcon by calling him the sidekick to That's the pain. original. Mm-hmm. It is pain. I mean, to be fair, Bucky and Falcon were like the sidekicks to the original. I mean, they really were. Let's be honest. But Bucky was the better sidekick. That's just facts. It is. It's facts. We get a flag smasher scene where they're um, given, you know, food and a place to sleep. Um, I really don't care about any of the flag smashers. Yeah, same. Um, I don't think if you really well, care. The big part they're actually going to come in handy is, what, is like probably episode four. Oh, yeah, I was at five. We cut to where they go see Isaiah. Yes. The black super soldier in Baltimore. Yeah. Um, and then we get the whole, like, BLM thing where the cops stop them and they're, like, really disrespectful to Sam. That was then, hilarious to me. How is that I'm hilarious? Sure. I just... No, like, I just like, like, not like that, not like that, not like that, not like that. Like, it's, like, embarrassing and it's just, like, stupid, too. But I just feel like it's like exactly what's happening right now, yeah, and like they yeah. put it in. I like that they and included it, it. Yeah, they definitely needed to to make a statement. Yeah, make a point, yeah. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, you're you're Falcon." Well, my bad. Well, we'll let you go. Mm-hmm. But Bucky gets arrested. Yeah, because of the he had to make amends or something. 
yeah, he forgot he didn't get to do his therapy, but then both of them have to do their therapy, and then we get the funny therapy scene. That was hilarious. Where both of them, yeah, both of them are talking uh, back and forth at each other. Um, and this is where they do the staring contest, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> they do the staring contest, and then they both exchange like their final words to each other about why they're upset with each other. Um, yeah. I'm trying to see next scene. They yeah, they go outside, and then this is where we really see how douchey the Captain America is. He's like, "Stay on my way," and then they wow. uh, yeah, and then they go their separate ways. I really hate this Captain America. He's so annoying. Same, same. I hated just, him literally as soon as I laid eyes on him in the first episode. Yeah, yeah. He, he just looks like a douche. Yeah, he does. Right when he winked at me, I was like, oh. Yeah. Like, I oh. want to punch this guy now. If you deserve the death threats. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I don't, th- I don't think it, we should have gone that far. I don't think anyone play, should have. Play, play. Yeah, we should. He's just an actor play. doing his job. <laughs> Um, and then we get, like, a no one really cares that the Flag Smasher guy died trying to save the plane. That yeah. scene where he's, like, sacrificing himself and gets shot, like, immediately. I don't know yeah. why, Pete, why we why we're supposed to care about that scene. I think they're just tr- trying. They're trying their best for us to care because they're going to become good guys at the very end. Yeah, probably. Who knows? And then we get Zemo. We see Zemo. Zemo it was so lame in Civil War, but was so good, so good in this. Um, exactly, in this dude. Movie. I, I love Zemo in this show, exactly. bro. He is Zemo is so probably good. my favorite character in this show. Oh, for, without a doubt, bro. I love Zemo. Zemo is a uh, god. Is- so if you like, if you've seen like uh, Civil War and haven't seen um, Falcon and Winter Soldier, watch it for Zemo. Yeah, Zemo is actually really good in this series. Before this show, so I, mean. I didn't like Zemo in Civil War. I thought he was so pointless. He he was a horrible bad guy. He yeah, was definitely Civil very War, smart. Didn't really do anything? Well, like, you know, like Zemo in comics was a great bad guy, but like. Well, yeah, in the comics, but we're talking about Civil War here. Well, now they yeah, got we're talking him about the bad. actual movie. In the movie, he was bad. He has his comic book mask. Yeah, in this in this show he does, and I love it. Yeah, it's real nice. Um, shall we go to episode three now? Power yes, Broker. Let's go to my is favorite title? episode, please. Yeah, this is my favorite episode too. In this episode, you kind of start with like a an. You ad start with him. Zemo the God. Yeah. No, we don't start with Zemo the God. Oh, I thought Man, no. This episode up. includes a lot of good Zemo parts. This is the Zemo episode. But this is this is where we open up with the Polizai uh, truck and it's Captain America comes out. Scene. Oh yeah, and they are trying to uh, get information because I think they were just at this person's location or something. Yeah, he was harboring them. He was harboring yeah. criminals, and he like yells at him. He's like, "Do you know who I am?" And I was like, the "Guys, like, yeah. yeah, I don't really care, dude. No one cares that you're Captain America. He's you're not even a lame phony." Here. Yeah, he's just a loser. Oh, and then, of course, his Battlestar teammate had to come in and be like, hey, bro, you know, uh, you can't really do anything here. <laughs> Let's Battle just Star leave. was way better than Captain America. Yeah, why couldn't Captain America die, man? Come on, man. Yeah, I, I don't want him to die. I mean, that was well, kind of the... I feel like they had to do that to, like, set Captain America, like, over the edge and make him go crazy. Oh, yeah, like in the comic books. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Except in the comic books, it was his mom and dad that were killed, but this one, his best friend, was killed. So we go to Zemo, like, talking with Bucky. What are you talking about, Roscoe? No, we're talking about, yeah, we're talking about Zemo. Zemo goes to talk with Bucky. Yeah, Buck, or Bucky goes to talk with Zemo. Yeah. Uh, and then we get that whole kind of, like, uh, it's happening while they're talking. Yeah, that, I love that scene. That scene was so good. Yeah, where he's breaking out of prison while... Well, also, well, Zemo also tries the old code, like, Winter Soldier program words on him, too. Like, the 17-something-something. Something. Yeah, but I mean, that's... Yeah, but who cares? He gets breaked right. out. When that's, he was that's escaping the big... prison, like, how they're talking. Like, is, 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 uh, theoretically speaking, of course, you got, like, Bucky goes... Yeah, theoretically about, speaking, you know, what if someone were to fight, you know? Two people start fighting randomly, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was actually oh. pretty funny. 
and then we get title card and we see Zima's rich. Like he's really rich. Yeah, like he, he has fancy like, cars. Yeah. He built he, he, um, he has like a private jet. Yeah. The butler. He's he's a baron. Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo. And you also get to look get a good look at his cop the mask that he has. Dude. Yeah, his purple mask. He's a Nazi in the comic books, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a Nazi in the comic book, so maybe we'll see. There's, like, um, a couple scenes here where he's kind of, like, the way him and his guy talk to Sam sometimes. Where he's like, your people took all, or destroyed all of our stuff. He's no, probably... No, sure. no he's, 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 uh, he's not a, he's not a Nazi, though, because he's from, he's from the place, you know the place that got, like, absolutely destroyed in Age of Ultron? Yeah, but in the comic books, he's a Nazi. Oh well, in the movie, he or in the show, he's from. That's where he's from. He's yeah, from and the, it's because of Age of Ultron that that. He's I'm trying like, to remember what that Sokovia. Sokovia. Sokovia, yeah, that's where um Wanda's from. Wanda, yeah. And Pietro, um, well, we, but we, no one cares about Pietro. Oh no, no, no one likes Pietro. Get him out of here. You mean Ralph Boner? Oh no, we love that. <laughs> That guy's different. Yeah, he's built different. Better. Uh, after they talk on the oh, they also have that funny scene in the garage where he's like, "I feel like I have a say here," and they're like, "No." Oh yeah, they like they constantly shut him up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like that part. That part was funny. Um, but they they all they all like they're talking on the private jet, and then they're going to Madripoor. Which um, Madripoor is my favorite spot that they've been to so far. Oh Imagine yeah, it is. Wolverine or something was from too. It's like super cool looking, and it's like also like us, like a bunch of criminals. So I thought. Yeah. yeah. Magipore had a. Uh, I Wolverine had like a bar, or New Zealand who had a bar in Magipore. I'm pretty sure that he stayed there. Or something. Yeah, something. Let's try not to overanalyze stuff that we don't know. <laughs> I don't. I, mean, I don't want to get anything wrong. <laughs> we probably already got like a ton of stuff wrong, but um. A bunch of names already. Yeah, let's just skip the entire flag smasher thing where she's visiting her mom because I don't think anyone really cares about that. That was like the mother, that was like the person who raised her. Like, yeah, no, no one, no one cares. We all like Madripoor though, so let's do that. That was like Donya <laughs> or something, wasn't it? When that, Mama, Mama Donya. Yeah, the, why Mama, Mama Donya sounds so cringe when she says it. I don't know why. Eh. Yeah, who cares? We get the awesome city of Madripoor and. <laughs> When they're in the club, when they're in the Magiport club, there's like an hour long clip of uh, Zimov, or how we, I forgot how to pronounce his name already. That's uh, later. Zimov. That's later, and that that is a great scene where he's <laughs> like, like an hour long clip on Instagram. Yeah, there's an hour long clip that Marvel themselves released of him just dancing. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's an hour long clip of him dancing. That's actually it's hilarious, hilarious, though. But we, we got to get through this, man. We got to get through this episode. Um, we see uh, they all have to have different personas. So Bucky has to become the Winter Soldier again. So um, and then freaking Zemo- smiling tiger. Yeah, smiling tiger. Who has to eat a freaking like the nastiest thing ever? It's like something with a snake. It's like a snake yeah, it was like a or snake shot. A snake shooter. I don't know it was, what it was. No, it was like a snake heart. I think. Yeah, but then they put it with like alcohol. Yeah, so. that was so disgusting. But yeah. Anyways, Zemo commands the Winter Soldier to attack, so he attacks. And if you actually look in the background, people are recording, so like that might get out, you know. And people might think like, "Oh no, oh, no. he's actually crazy." He's yeah, yeah, he's back to his Winter Soldier days. But he was actually, um, he was actually just doing it to fit into his alternate persona. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, we get the, um, they're talking with that old lady. Don't know what her name was, don't care, because she died, like, immediately. Yeah, she died um, almost she instantly. Sniped. Yeah, she got sniped. Uh, we got that funny scene where, um, Sam was talking with his sister. Yeah. And, uh, that's what, that's what revealed his identity, and then the lady just got sniped. It, then it, like, came up on, um, speaker. They made it- yeah, they put it on speaker. They, a, a shootout happens. They run into an alleyway. More shooting. And well, I don't know her name, but someone who got screwed over during a certain movie. Sharon Carter, who got Sharon screwed Carter. over in Civil War. Yeah. Come on, Ross. I thought that was like, your favorite movie, dude. 
I didn't watch that movie like that, like that. I just, <laughs> I didn't, I never thought, it was, I, I never said it was a bad movie. Yeah, well, who cares? They, they go to like the huge art, art gallery, um, and they all kind of like are resting, whatever, blah, 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 kind of like they're just getting to talk to each other again. And then we get the epic Zemo dance scene where he's just dancing. For an hour long on Instagram. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> the only it, the only reason this video... Well, we, might, we, we, we have to move on from this episode. Okay, so that has to be an outro just for your information. Zemo dancing with credits being cut rolling. Yes, that's yeah, going yeah, sure. to be our outro for this podcast. Be our outro. Don't worry, that's our outro from now on. From now just on. Zemo from now dancing. on, that'll be our outro, yeah. No, Zemo from dancing. until the Winter Soldier has ended, okay? <laughs> yeah, until the Winter Soldiers ended, uh, we get another huge fight scene. Um, in the docking area. Yeah, oh, in the no, docking no, no, area. Skipping the whole part where we figure out that what's her face has been on the run this whole time. We've already talked about that. Well, we already talked about that. How they were kind of like talking, getting to know each other, and how she her entire life was ruined. Yeah, we already because did. of Civil War. Yeah, because of Civil War, that horrible movie that we don't talk about. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, Zemo kills uh, that dude, the and I think it's because, guy. yeah, the doctor, because I think he has like a alternative motive. Like I think he's trying to kill Zemo people. Has something against the super serum. No, yeah, he I just hates he the super. Kill. He just hates super soldiers and super serum. So he just does anything he can to get rid of it. I, I guess, but I also think he's gonna be like building the thunderbolts, maybe, and he's like having, like he has a kill list. I don't know, but he also does just hate super soldiers. Is that could so, be the reason that he's killing people? And then he blows up the whole entire lab. The whole entire lab. I feel like I feel like if he had a kill list, he wouldn't have blown up the lab. Eh, do your worst, right? Because like no, because like what's the point of that? It's just making noise for no reason. Well, but he I feel also like like he killed the guy and blew up the labs. So that way, they the the guy that's making no the serum was to, was killed, and then also all the evidence and like his instructions. And no, stuff he wasn't trying gone. to blow up the evidence. He was trying to blow up the super serum. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. That's um, why he wouldn't have. He would have had any reason to blow it up if he had. If that guy was on his kill list, because the power broker found out about it either way. Dude, I love Baron Zemo's mask. He puts on the mask. Yeah, and like, and then he, he, he just goes like God like mode and just kills everyone. It's insane. He, he like it's shoots like, like when, the as soon as he puts on the mask, it's like in Minecraft. He just do. He just does slash game mode creative. <laughs> That's basically insane, what he's doing bro. when he puts on the mask. It's like I mean I mean Zemo hits his sh- Zemo could hit his shots out of like that one guy from Wandavision. Uh, yeah, I'm like um, I'm like who, that, who's director Hayward. Yeah, director Hayward. Director yeah. Hayward. Oh, what a out. bum! And yeah, he's yeah, he's he in yeah, he he download or uh, Zemo got aimbot.exe when he put on the mask. <laughs> Downloaded aimbot. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure. And he didn't he didn't forget to reload his gun before he shot. I know. That's yeah. how you know he's I, I that's how you know Hayward he's a godly villain. Hayward was at the range before uh, going into battle, so he just forgot to reload. Yeah. He forgot to reload. Or he was just shooting innocent people, knowing Hayward. Yeah, no, knowing Hayward that sounds per- that sounds kinda accurate, but He's trying to shoot other kids and missed all of his shots, so he got angry. Anyway, that's kinda him. that's kinda it for episode three, isn't it? No, I think there's more, right? We get more, like, Flag Smasher dialogue. No, no one cares um, about Flag Smasher. They're this talking, is in the video. Blew, you know, they blew, this is, like, something like the important they did, where they blew up that, uh... Yeah, they, they blew up the, um, that building. I thought that was in episode four. No, that's episode three. They talk about it in episode four, because oh, it was so okay. bad. Yeah, and, and then they... Do they go back to Sokovia? And then that's where they, um, see the Wakandan lady? I think so. Or Bucky yeah, Caesar. Like, like eight hours, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but... Why did they um, call him, like, the White... The White, the white wolf. wolf. Why do they call him the White Wolf? It's it's from Infinity War. Or was it from Black Panther's end credit scene? Yeah, it was either Black Panther's end credit scene or... Uh, yeah, Black Panther. Yeah, I think it was Black Panther's end credit scene where they call him White Wolf. Okay. Well, and credits roll. Yeah, that's the that's the end of the episode. I haven't checked. Is there any, is there any end credit scenes? No. No, like, no, there hasn't been. The only little like, end credit little thing scene was like the last scene with the uh, Wakanda lady. Yeah. All, all right. Well, that's all three episodes. So, like, all we need that for one. end credit scenes is just Zemo dancing. 
please. Oh, for sure. Just add that at the end of every episode, Marvel. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's all we add, want, add, is just Zemo like, dancing. Neon cat music behind it or something stupid. Yes. No. Yeah. Well, let's cut to uh, let's cut to uh, Zemo dancing right now because this is the end of the video. All right, yeah. guys. Yes, but like, I subscribe, leave a comment. Yeah, do that cool stuff. And whenever this video comes out, make sure you follow everything, subscribe to everything, in the credits of who people are. Yeah, yeah and get Disney Plus and watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, not even yeah. sponsored. Watch it. Not it for sponsored. Yourself. Hashtag not Trust sponsored. Me. It's better than us explaining it to you in horrible ways. Yeah, if you just we get the, if you just get Disney Plus, then you have no reason to watch our there videos is no, anymore. There is no Google inv Actually, don't download Disney Plus, so you have so you're forced to watch this. So you actually have yeah. a reason to watch our videos. Yeah. Yep. Don't download. Disney Plus. Hit it, right. Zemo.